Good day, Great Trials. Let's just look at a quick summary of what we learned in class today. So we talked about dividing our profit of a company. First of all, please remember that the profit that a company makes will belong to the company because the company is its own business entity. We've also learned that the first part of the profit always go to SARS. It goes towards income tax. Therefore, when we um, make a profit, the first division of this profit in the appropriation account will go to income tax. So this means that I will have part of this going to the account that we call the income tax account. So income tax, and you'll see the income tax, we will use the general journal for this entry, and I'm going to give let's say the income tax is 30,000. This is just an example, it's not a precise calculation. Now remember that when I debit an account, for each debit there needs to be a credit. And if you look at the entry, it states that we are going to work with the income tax account, um, appropriation account debited with income ta tax, therefore income tax needs to be credited with the appropriation account. So. On the credit side, appropriation from my general journal, and I've got my 30,000. Now, this income tax is owed to SARS. If I have not paid it yet, I need to make sure that I pay it, otherwise, there will be penalties and interest. But we need to get it in the SARS account because this account is the liability. How do I remove it from the income tax and take it to the source account? You have to make a debit entry and this entry will then be source income tax in my general journal with 30,000 and my source income tax will then be credited with income tax. This is the income tax for the year as it was calculated on the profit that was made during the year. Remember that when income tax is paid we will usually have a provisional payment. It can be uh, one or two and when we pay bank will be credited therefore the income tax will then be debited. If we do not pay this, this will keep on being a liability Remember, there will be penalties and interest. Now, after we gave some of our profit, there's some of the profit that went to income tax. We removed it to the income tax account, from the income tax account to sold income tax. And this is where it will be paid. Now, the next part of the profit will go to the shareholders. Remember what we said, shares will be declared and paid within the year. This we call the interim dividend. Now when we pay, our bank will decrease on the credit side. What did we pay? This was dividends on ordinary shares. Remember now, this is something that we paid, so this will be the CPJ. So let's say we paid 10,000 towards dividends on ordinary shares. For each credit, there has to be a debit. Remember, this is the short way we do it. I did explain in class, if we first declare and then pay by using shareholders for dividends, but this is the shortcut. So dividends on ordinary shares will then have a debit entry for bank CPJ, and this is the interim dividend that has been declared and paid. Now at the end of the year we will declare shares once again but this shares will only be declared if it's just declared then it makes shareholders for div uh, dividends a liability because we are only declared it's a promise that we make so we are liable for this so let's say the dividends the final dividends that we declared was another 20,000. The entry for this will then be dividends on ordinary shares. Sorry, 
it for writing so long this will be from my general journal and for each credit entry there will then be a debit entry so in dividends on ordinary shares I will have an entry for shareholders for dividends shareholders waiting for dividends general journal 20,000 now the interim and the final when we look at these two together this will be my total dividends for the year so the interim and the final will be my total dividends for the year and this is then part of the division of the profit so the total dividends for the year is part of the profit for this year and therefore we will have a credit entry for the appropriation account please mind my spelling it's all about explaining the concept all right so let's look at this part of the profit went to income tax part of the profit is um, declared and paid out or just declared for dividends so this will then be dividends for the year dividends on ordinary share for the year If you look at the dividends for ordinary shares in my appropriation account, I hope that you um, understand that this dividends will then be um, two types of dividends. It would be the interim within the year as well as the final just declared. So your dividends on ordinary shares for the year is the interim and the final together. What's left of the profit, we will retain in the company. Um, therefore, whatever is left of the profit and loss will then go to retained income. The profit was 100,000. I've already um, divided this profit and there's only 40,000 left. For each debit, there is then a credit. This is a very basic explanation. There's so much more that goes towards these accounts. This is really just a basic for you to understand how the flow works. I just need to add as well that you have to remember then that the year is the part of the dividends and this is the part for the retained income.